Ward applies to my life. <coughs> Wondering if I would ever honestly feel that motivated and that driven to give that 100% amount of effort when, the, when it was hardest to give. I didn't really have what it took to bring those dreams to full fruition. Because what happens if I fail? What if I fail? I have a comment I would like to make. Because I imagine that each of us here today as graduates has at least a few people that we would like to thank. And who deserve it. The instructors, the administrators, who took the few extra moments to make the difference. And I would personally like to thank my old buddies at Lathrop Hall for a very memorable first two years of college. And as I, grow, I owe a great deal of thanks to this institution. The University of Alaska Fairbanks has provided me and many other Alaskans. goods to families in the territory of Alaska. Barney took over the family business in 1949 and helped build. I'm going to depart from the official citation here which goes on to describe Barney's efforts as a member of the first Alaska Human Rights Commission and his eight years of service on the Alaska School Board. His many other public services are also described in the citation because I was given a letter in the Anchorage Airport which I think better describes Barney's contribution to the people of Alaska, and it's certainly a meaningful experience and your commitment to offer the best in education to anyone who is willing to work. Striving for an educational system where teachers and administrators can and will focus on what is needed and evaluation, inviting educators all over the state to better meet the needs of the students and our future requirements for an educated public. It's not a job that makes many friends. We pause to think great reporter of numerous university activities. She continues to be a strong and positive force in the development of the university. I served with Grace on the Board of Regents, and Regents have their many individual specialized contributions to the efforts of the Board. Grace certainly was one of wisdom, because her extensive knowledge of Alaska and the university allowed us to enter some very difficult times, and I think do it with a great deal of grace and wisdom because of her contribution. I also admire Grace because she is a longtime Alaskan and she is the epitome of what I call the love of place. If you know Grace, Oh, 